In this lesson, I'm going to show you where to find the welding and the shaping tools and how to apply those tools to, say, text or objects. On page 2 here, you'll see I've drawn in a uh, green triangle, a blue circle and a uh, yellow square here. Now these are all separate objects and they're just overlapping each other as you can see. So just undo that back to where they were. And if we go into wireframe mode, we can see that as well. So there's our three objects there. Okay, so we might want to weld or shape these objects, in other words, say punch the green triangle out of the, um, the blue uh, circle here or uh, weld these two together. Now to do that's very easy. If I wanted to say weld the circle to the triangle here, I simply select the two of them together like this. I come over to this tool over here, which is my object editing flyout. I left click on that and you can see we've got some shaping tools and over here we've got some welding tools. And for example, to weld this, I just click weld selected I go to wireframe mode here, you can see what's happened. It's weld these two shapes together as so. So I can undo that. And another example might be I might want to, say, punch out this uh, green triangle from these two shapes. So I'd select over all three of them. Again, I'd come to this tool here. I'd go to shaping. And I'd say uh, either back minus front or front minus back. This is stamp or punch out as the hints are telling us. So I punch out in this case. And as you can see, I've punched out the triangle from these two shapes. So that's where we find those tools. Now we can also find those tools up here in the objects. We come down to shaping and again we've got these same tools again. And that's how we uh, use the shaping and welding tools. One tool I will show you quickly is weld, uh, weld selected. Often you'll have the situation where you have a piece of clip art which has got multiple colors and it's overlapping all over the place. Now when you cut that out of vinyl, of course, you don't want to be overlapping all these separate pieces of vinyl. So what we do is we select all the objects of, say, a piece of clip art, or in this example, these three objects here, and we will flatten these to the single Z order. To do that, it's very easy. We come over here, come to Welding, click on Weld Layers, and we'll see it looks exactly the same. But what's happened now is that all these objects, if they were cut out, would be cut out and all laid in one single level or layer. As you can see, what's happened? So what's happened is the program's come along and it's actually welded out all the overlapping contours. And if I just zoom, uh, undo that back and go to wireframe mode, you can see here what's happened. So that's a great way of removing overlapping contours using these tools here. And that's the welding and the shaping tools in the end of this lesson.